Ah, Gabitans and Internet! Welcome back to DuckTales Remastered with Colorful RT, your host. Praise be to God on this incredible day! And that was my terrible impression of Scrooge McDuck. Anyhow, today we finished the uh, first stage, so we're actually gonna start the five main stages today. So I mentioned last time, the Amazon, even though it's the first one listed, don't go there first. You will have a terrible time there. Now, I kind of compared this to Mega Man last time and that you can do any stage in any order, but it does help to do some stages first, because while in Mega Man you get the boss's weapon after beating the level, in this, every level has a permanent health extension hidden somewhere. So if you can find them, you can do the Amazon with way more HP, which will really help. So you might be wondering, which one should I start with? Personally, I would recommend starting with Transylvania or the African Mines. Both of those, I'd say, are good starting places. I'm going to start with the African Mines, though. This was the one that really didn't give me a whole lot of trouble in my first playthrough. Find Gyro. Our next stop's Africa and the center of the Earth. What treasure do you think you'll find there, Uncle Scrooge? Only the largest gem known to history, the giant diamond of the inner Earth. Oh, yeah! And we're flying there in Launchpad's helicopter. This is amazing! So admittedly, Transylvania might be a little easier than the African Mines, but plot-wise it makes sense for the African Mines to come first. I'll get more into that when we reach Transylvania. And that is a disturbing-looking snail. Hi, lads. This is the place. I can feel all those diamonds singing to me. <laughs> and it's a right pretty song, too. Gyro, I thought you said this winch was brand new. It was. It's an unbreakable diamond tether, Mr. McDuck. I made it myself. So long as you didn't use any of my diamonds to do the job. Whoa, what's going on here? What's all this hullabaloo? Your lunch break isn't for two hours yet. We heard v v voices down there, Mr. McDuck. Strange, g g ghostly voices. Nonsense. There aren't any v v v voices down there. Oh, whatever you say, Mr. McDuck. But your mine is haunted. You finish digging it. Oh, you want anything done, you've got to do it yourself. And believe me, if I hear voices down there, I'll give them a good talking to. Now, you stay here, boys. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. The rock bottom, Mr. McDuck. This mine shaft goes down for miles. Oh boy. One of the great parts about DuckTales is the music just keeps getting better. So these snails are pretty easy. You just jump on their head like we did the Beagle Boys. And sometimes enemies drop gems for you. These enemies can be a bit annoying. These are bats, but you can see there's a rock up on the ledge. We can actually hit rocks that are one thing above us. And kill the bat. Nice. Yeah, the African Mines probably has my least favorite song on the game, and it's still amazing! Look at that luster. This old lift won't budge up, Scrooge. Looks like the key's missing. You don't think the ghost rat off with it, do ya? Look, if I hear one more word about this mine being haunted, I'll start haunting it myself. Yeah, Scrooge does not believe in anything like ghosts. So the shaft's broken, so we're gonna have to find the part to refix it. Oh boy, more bats! This would be an interesting game to speedrun out. Figures I get hit right after I eat the ice cream. So the bats, the way they work is they appear and then you can jump on their head. Because they dive down right on top of you when you walk underneath them. So kind of trigger them, let the uh, wait for them to start uh, be about to dive bomb you, then move out of the way, and then jump on their heads. Pretty simple. Oh boy. And we got the winch! Hooray! That was simple enough. Also, in the NES version, when you go to the African Mines, it'll be locked, and you need to go to Transylvania to find the key to the mine. Another difference between this and the NES version. Again, I have actually not played the NES version, but... 
I will say. What was I going to say? Hey, you found the key. Did the ghosts have it? Oh, I'm telling you kids for the last time. There are no ghosts in this mine. I don't know about that, Uncle Scrooge. Something must have cut the tether line and broke the winch and scared away those workers. I'll tell you what scared them away. Overactive imaginations. I'm not about to let a bunch of silly superstitions stand between me and the giant diamond of the inner earth. Now, man the controls and load away, lads! Oh, yeah. Oh, I was gonna say, yeah. I haven't played the NES version, but I did research it before starting this Let's Play, so I can give some more commentary. And yeah, some walls are invisible until you walk up next to them. And more often than not, it's these walls that hide. Not what I thought. That's a rain that was worth a lot of money, though. I thought that was gonna be one of the permanent health extensions. Oh boy! Why are you here, Mrs. Beakley? These mines are so damp, Mr. McDuck. I wanted to remind you to wear a sweater. Which is why you're giving me ice oh, cream. Thank you kindly, dear. Tell the boys to keep a watchful eye on my Webby Gale. I forgot about Webby. We'll see her later. Yeah, so normally Mrs. Beakley is the only way you can get one-ups. She also gives you enough food to restore all your HP. Alright, you can see those bubbles down there. Those are enemies that are going to jump up. We can use this to our advantage. Those jumps can be a bit tricky, and admittedly, if you fall into the water, that's an instant death. So that's a bit tricky, but we get a lot of money for doing that. Also, yeah! Hidden room with treasure! Ooh, another one up! Oh, wow! I did select hard mode, right? I feel like last playthrough, they were not this generous with the 1-ups. But that's cool. I need all the 1-ups I can get. They probably figured you were going to lose one life uh, going over that the first time anyways. Thought so. <laughs> Darn it, DuckTales. Why do you have such good music? Oh boy. Do not let that boulder touch you. That is instant death. Doesn't seem like it would be, but it is. I learned that the hard way. These plants are annoying. It looks like you can just jump on their heads, but if you do, you will end up taking damage. And they have giant hitboxes, and they are everywhere on the Amazon. It's, yep. Sure enough, it looked like I did not touch the flower, but apparently I did. Oh no. This is bad. Let's try climbing up here, shall we? Oh, I almost forgot. Oh, what? There's supposed to be a map you can see. I guess maybe not until you've already beaten the level. What the That's okay. I think I remember my way around the African mines. Yeah, there's tons of chests on the ceiling in here, so don't hit those balls until they've actually appeared. Nothing over there? Okay. <laughs> I like that. Oh yeah, I, I was. I'm very happy to get ice cream. I was about to die. No! I lost the gem. Oh, sure enough. Yeah, there are lots of hidden, tr like, uh, treasure rooms in this, which is pretty cool. It encourages you to explore to your heart's content. And I do love exploration in games. Alright, now the giant boulder is gonna come. And again, you do not want to touch the boulder! No matter how fun it looks. Yeah! 
Ah, I really wish I had the map, though. That really would help. Like, I think I am going the correct way, which is actually the wrong way. Never mind, nope. Never mind, I forgot. I am going the correct way. I weird, uh, swamp monster duck thing. So remember, every time you see bubbles coming up out of the liquid, that means there's an enemy there that you can use as a platform. That will save you so much grief in the long run. And they do appear in other levels besides African Mines, so make sure you remember that. I did make it rich by being foolish. Flashed. Yeah, and if this looks hard, like I said, this is one of the easier levels in the game, so... That tells you something about how difficult this game is. Yep, I knew there was going to be a platform we could use. Yippee! I've never seen a gym like this before. Uh huh. There's just a random rock lying out. That's a pretty good indication that there's a invisible treasure chest somewhere that you need to step on. Or just touch its trigger point, really. Yeah, this level, like, the rolling boulder segments can be a little tricky, and the first time you encounter those uh, swamp ducks is pretty tough. But besides that, it's a pretty simple level, even if it is a bit long. Dog on it. Scrooge's greed was too great, but we've made almost two million dollars on this level alone. On the first level, we made, like, 300,000. And I got almost everything. <laughs> Screw it to point of fire. Almost literally, because that is a very red looking rock. Scrooge is just so awesome. No, oh, darn it, darn it. Oh, I forgot about these. Not the flowers, the minecart segments. So remember you can duck in the minecarts, that'll really come in handy. You can also jump. Really lost my hat on that one. Oh. The minecarts can be tricky because if you jump while the minecart's moving on the track, you will just automatically follow the cart, whereas after you go over jump and the minecart's gonna fall, you have free reign over your jump and you tend to not go as far as you think you will. So that can be tricky. Alright, if memory serves, you want to go up at the beginning. Maybe not. Uh-oh, that's not good. Is there no end to this madness? I think we're at the boss fight, and we haven't found a health extension yet. What in the world do you suppose those are? Out of the way! What are you guys doing here? Oh, my aching tail feathers! Boys, did I not tell you to stay with Gyro? Well, we, uh, uh... Oh, I'm disappointed in you lads. It's dangerous doing here. Uh, we just wanted to help Uncle Scrooge. Yeah. <laughs> Hush, lads. Did you hear that? What a brutie! Those must be the voices that Miner was talking about. You boys go back the way you came. This is no place for children. Yes, I got Scrooge. Oh, whew, okay, that's not quite the end of the level yet. That's good. I'm like, I feel like I went everywhere, but I haven't found the health extension yet, so I was a bit concerned. Waka, waka, it's a <laughs> that was disappointing. <sighs> that was really risky. 
That's like the only way you can kill those flowers. Okay. Hey, Beagle Boy. Take this! These chests have a disappointingly small amount of money inside them. Yes, please. The ceiling can sometimes push you down, so pogoing is not always the best way to go. I love the funky music here, though. It's so good. Okay. Oh, that struck me as something you could definitely go over. Guess not. Whoop! This could be a bit tricky. Getting rid of the snail first. Summoning the bat, walking out of the way. Yeah, just like that. I do remember the health extension being very far into the level, so I'm not too worried that I haven't gotten it yet. But I'm a little worried that I haven't gotten it yet. Perhaps it's through here? No? I'm getting nervous because I know I'm very close to the boss. Especially since they're giving me all this ice cream. No, no, no! Oh, okay, that's cool. Alright, I might have missed something up here. This is a wee bit... Never mind. Okay. I was wondering if that was an invisible wall. Again, I've beaten the game once, but that doesn't mean I'm an expert at it. I really looked like I should have pogoed on him. The pogo hitbox is pretty tiny. You do have to touch them with the cane in order to get rid of them. This is the boss fight, isn't it? Yep. We missed the health extension. Darn it! You! What's the meaning of all this racket? Out of the way, stranger. As the king of the Terra Fermians, I forbid anyone to interfere with the great games. Great games? Stand back! You'll interfere with the roll. Strange creature, you are disqualified. Yes, you're disqualified for unsportsmanlike conduct and roll and crash interference. Now see here, I own this mine, and I won't be bossed around by an overblown fuzzball. Step aside, I've got work to do. Oh, so you're the one causing all the ruckus up above. Well, I have heard enough. Oh dear. So this is the uh, Terra Fermian King. He's an interesting fight. So at the beginning, just basically dodges attacks. He'll go in the background. Okay, the sound cues are important in this fight. If he says that, he's going to summon all these his uh, fighters to roll on you, and you need to pogo on their heads. Otherwise, you might have to avoid uh, rock falls. Okay, I swear I looked everywhere on this level. I'm almost wondering, because on my first playthrough I missed the first health extension as well, the rain I got, which was worth money, I think that might be where the health extension is supposed to be, but you have to, like, come back? I'm gonna try that. Because I, I beat the Amazon first in my original playthrough, and I didn't find the health extension on that level either. But I found it very easily later on, and I'm like, I, I thought I looked there. Maybe I did. Yeah, you can jump on his head in this uh, while he's rolling, but that won't actually damage him. Yep, 
watch for the shadows and just avoid them to avoid the rock falls. Bosses in this are no slouch. Although this guy's pretty easy for a boss, to be fair. For a boss in this. I just like to assume he's going to do that move. Ouch. He can still damage you very easily in that move, though. Ouch. I touched his scepter, so I lost. This is my last life! I'm not happy with this. Yeah, because the ones that are bouncing upwards, if they touch any part of you that's not your cane, you'll still take damage. Thankfully, the bosses in this are very pattern-based. It's just basically a matter of finding their pattern and dodging their attacks. Thank goodness he did the rock attack. That's way less intimidating. He should be almost gone at this point. Yeah, he's going so fast, I think he's on 1 HP left. Yeah, goodbye. I can hold up under your assault no longer, stranger. What is it you wish from us? Well, for starters, stop these infernal games. You're causing earthquakes, scaring off my workers, and ruining my equipment. It's now impossible to mine for diamonds. Diamonds? Aye, diamonds. Like this one. Though the particular one I'm after is a fair bit bigger. Oh, you refer to garbage rocks. We have no use for garbage rocks. They're hard and sharp, and you can't roll on them at all. You don't say. <laughs> uh, uh, tell you what, uh, I'll do you a favor and haul away your uh, uh, garbage rocks free of charge. Just keep the earthquakes to a minimum, all right? Agreed. I am proud to announce that the Terraformians hereby welcome your garbage rock mining operation. Uh, here, you can start by getting rid of this one. Yes! <laughs> the bagpipes! The giant diamond of the inner elf! Well, that worked out! Stage clear! And Scrooge looks so proud of himself. Aww. Uh, of course, the episode's not over, because I have to go back and get that health extension. Trust me, you do not want to miss out on any of the health extensions. This game gets brutally difficult at the end. You need all the HP you can get. But now we get to rack up our tolls. Mmm, look at all those hundreds of thousands of dollars we made. And of course the giant diamond of the inner if it's worth a million by itself. And we discovered a hidden treasure, which is another million. That one must have been the ring. And because we're playing on hard mode, we get more money just for that. And <laughs> Scrooge's bank account just got a lot bigger. Any ghosts down there after all? That's right, Louis. It's as I told you, boys. There's a rational explanation for everything. Yeah, a whole kingdom of underground creatures who cause earthquakes as part of a game is a completely rational explanation. Uh, I... <laughs> Never mind, boys. The point is, we made it back with the giant diamond of the inner earth and gained an entire diamond mine in the process. No, where to next, lads? I just realized I might not be able to go back to the Africa mines after I beat it. Darn it. I'm actually gonna look that up, because I swear I looked everywhere on that level. Okay, um, so I played on normal mode for my first playthrough. On hard mode, you only get two heart containers in the entire game. Oh, okay. 
That's gonna make things a lot more difficult. But that's okay. I've committed to hard mode, so I'm going to play on hard mode. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Color Forty. If you tune in next time, we'll be going to Transylvania. <laughs> that's gonna be a fun one. Anyways, have a great day, and God bless.